Okay, we made it inside and I have signal. Who knows for how long, that was a mess coming in here. I don't know if they have uh, like a Faraday cage effect or some jammers somewhere or something, I don't know what's going on. But on the floor it's good like it was last time. So here we are, this is the, just came out of the badging area. Just had to scan a QR code and back in. So this is kind of the catch-all floor, just kind of smaller companies and stuff. So I might just go here real quick just to give you a feel for it. Probably very similar to last time. But I'll take a look. I like these fake hedges they have for walls. So it's always fun. Alan and Heath. There's a doggy on the floor. That's for you, Kent. RCF. Dante earlier. So, I'm gonna be a dick about logos, but what the fuck does that mean? Show. Sorry, I don't, I'm not familiar with it, but it looks pretty, pretty silly. Okay, what else we got here? Well, this Harrison, that's uh, Longhurst is always talking about Harrison. There's some mixed bus stuff. Okay. Like I said, this is not really my favorite area. It's useful stuff and necessary stuff, but not fun. So there, look at that. Okay. Speakers, cables. This is the annex building. So, and there's a bridge going between the sides. Actually, you know, let's just go sit to the side. I'll do the other one tomorrow. Let's go see the big floor. You guys got a slider, yeah, slider dolly. Almost like something Apple would have. And you can hear it through the walls or there's some live music downstairs, I think. Or it could just be the expo, I'm not sure. Maybe today it doesn't have live music, but definitely Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So they're going green this year. They uh, have a paper. I hope this paper's durable enough. Here's the bridge. So as usual, unless it's in the hotel next door, I think Yamaha's upstairs. And uh, some guitar companies and stuff are up here. Music begins here. It's coffee bars around here. Here 
here. So, brand overload, if you want to see that. Education stuff up here. Yeah, I'll come back. I want to go to down, down, down. Of course, no one's in a hurry here, so you have to wait like sheep going down the escalator. Which is always a nice waste of time. There's some nice palm trees out there. That's the main walk. I came in last time I was here. This time I decided to do the skywalk. So this is a long escalator that goes straight down. Uh, some other floors that have, um, I suppose over there do uh, three different floors. And there's the big floor. There's a big JBL sign there. Let's go see what we can see. I don't know if that's a joke or not. Romanian music creators, and it's a big glass box with no one in it and no objects. Aha. All right. Spire Dynamic, Mogami. So it's kind of a similar layout to last time. of course. It's Corey from Mod by Modular. They've got a KO set up in a game arcade for teenage engineering. I'm glad they're here this year. They weren't around last time. How's it going? I had a quick question. I'm a, I'm a huge OPZ fan. I had a couple of them. And there's that ongoing struggle with moving synth patches over from an OP1 to an OPZ. It's physically impossible, right? I think so, yeah, because they have very different engines. This, but there are some of the engines that are in common. I don't I think thought. there are common engines. I think? You can sample stuff from one to the yeah, other. Yeah, I know the samples, but I wanted the thing where you have the like, which like four slots. Uh -huh. You get more presets for your bank for your box yeah. than just one at a time. Yeah, yeah. So there's, I saw, there's a whole thread online about this, guys trying to hack it and stuff. And, Apparently there is no way, but I, I, want, I want to get it from the horse's mouth because <laughs> I hadn't tried to load patches yet and I just started to try yeah. and um, I, didn't, I don't didn't think do any of the engine is actually shared. Okay. I mean, they, maybe you can tweak them in order no, to get that's a fine. similar sound, but like, that's okay. it's not the same. I mean, it's cool that I can load all the samples I want, <laughs> but I uh, just want to make sure I exhausted the possibilities. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's all these guys fighting back and forth. Can you do it? Can you not do it? And sound like a waste of time to try and hack it when you just can't do it. So. Yeah. Okay, I'll come back and play later. Thank you. Jam stick is over here now. Usually it's in the guitar area. Okay, so here's... Uh, ASM. There's Glenn wearing a mask. There's Ken wearing a mask. And there's uh, Dominic, I think. Dominic Ao. The wizard behind a lot of this stuff. This is what I was doing last time when the whole carpet thing happened. This is what I was doing this talking to Ken. I'll recreate it right now. This is how the carpet myth started. <laughs> anyway, he's busy, I'll come back. Oh, PTZ camera. Interesting. Maybe stuff from China? That's a Bob Moab Foundation. Piano endorsed by Jordan Rudis, because why not? 
He endorses everything. This is Brian Kehu right here in the plaid shirt from the Mo Cookbook. He's also in PSN chat a lot. What else can we see here? Who else is here? Patrick Moraz, Mini Mo. And there he is with Bob in front of this. That's a great shot there. Okay, I don't see one I recognize right now. Stylophone, there you go. A bit of British stuff at the show. There's the theremin. Uh, typical theremin experience there. <laughs> Both products there. Yeah. Got yeah, Matt Hodson here. I didn't know he was tall. He's actually pretty tall. Saturday crazy, so gotta talk to him while I can. Cassie's always way over there, but uh, Kurt Wilde's over there as well. Bitwig Studio. Uh, I see Osmos over there. As soon as I'm done here, I'll go head over there. Maybe that's tomorrow. 
You can always follow the crowd to find Stevie Wonder. Good to meet you the first time, Synth Attic. Andy, hello mate. How you doing man? How you doing, you right? Say hi to the chatties. Hey, are you live? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Good to see you. Yeah. Have you seen the drugs? Yeah, it's, it's, it's up my alley, so. Yeah, it's, uh, Since I have some money, which I don't have now, I'll, I'll get one. I already have plenty of theremin, so I may or may not get that one. Yeah, this is good fun, it's great fun. I built one from a magazine in high school. No way. It was just digital no shit. It was just and it only had one antenna and a knob for uh, for uh, pitch right. to just you know, make the vibrato. Because kind of okay. uh, they, they kind of did a thing where uh, instead of modulation, so they did some kind of thing with the... Because the, the, it's weird, because normally the, your pitch and your vibrato is the same antenna. Yeah, yeah. But the way this circuit worked was kind of weird. And also it was steppy as hell, so it wasn't cool. Right. So then I finally bought a proper Moog theremin. And then there are many, much other stuff. I'd be interested to see like the font size go to. So, yeah, definitely, yeah. And with CV out too, right? So you oh, can. Yeah. MIDI out too, or no? No, no just. The, the CV. No, not oh, even no? That. no. Oh, no, it's all standalone. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just that, dude. Because I, I bought the last CV kit on the planet for my Moke Thurman yeah. to retrofit it because I bought it before they sold the one with CV. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so I have the kit, I still have it installed. I was going to get the uh, Clara box, but it's, but it's beautiful. And it has MIDI and CV and everything. That's the thing. And the price goes up. It does. But it's also a work of art, a piece of furniture. Yeah, yeah. Because I played the RCA um, Thurman at uh, the museum here uh, in uh, San Francisco called Exploratorium. And they have a proper RCA wood box Thurman yeah. that you can play. Oh, nice. And, uh, yeah, it's real warm sounding. Right. It's all beat up, of course, because kids are hitting it. And it's, the public is messing around with it. But it's pretty special to play a real one. Right. They don't have all the speakers and all that stuff uh, for it, but uh, yeah. it's, pretty, it's pretty cool. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. It's just got a cool delay on it, which is kind of funky. Yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, it's like, like $110. Yeah. So the, the pitch is the slider? Is the antenna, it's the antenna. okay? So sliders volume. Yeah. So you've got. So you've got. Oh, yeah. It's probably just as sensitive as a normal one too, where I have too much crap in the area messes yeah, it up. Yeah, there is. Yeah, so yeah. you, you can attenuate it because. And, and people and, and all we all have, you know, interference signals going on. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, that's how it works, I guess. Like I tried to use my Theramini on one of those hardware jam things. Yeah. And I set it up, and in the in the practice, I put it on a boom arm from a microphone. Yeah. I swung it in to the set and played it a little bit and swung it back out. And it was spaced <laughs> far enough away that it worked. Yeah, yeah. When I went to do the live recording, it was all fucked up. Uh -huh. Just the way it works. I moved my body too much or something else happened oh, I that see. just threw it off and I wasn't getting the range I wanted. I could still get something, but I didn't have time to record more than one session. So I'm like, ah, it is what it is. That's live. Yeah, so, right. But, uh, cool, man. Yeah, yeah, I'll have to come back and play with it. Ah, yeah, you were out on weekend. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a junkie for this kind of stuff. So I'm going to jump on see, Robbie's see, show see, tomorrow, do some live stuff. And, uh, oh, okay. Just for fun. Uh, yeah, right. I go into Bukla thing tomorrow. I mean, it's Saturday. Yeah, I'm going to try and hop down. Oh, yeah. Are you going to that thing tonight? Uh, like a show on a few people playing. No. You have to have an invitation? Uh, I've got a flyer somewhere. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you can play on oh, Okay, so it's like yeah, a tannerin. Yeah, it's continuous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Nice. And then you got the delay. 
Can, can you can you do like on the Moog where you get more of a female voice out of it if you want? Can you filter it a little bit? No. Okay. Felt it wouldn't be cold on it. I, it's that's one of the things I found. It was like a, wow, it sounds like a woman singing. It's amazing. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's something really haunting about it. Yeah, yeah. But when you use a slider, when you go to that, and you're on the side way here, and that bit of vibrato with the delay. There's a bucket brigade in there? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, go on and on and on. Cool. Can you also overload it? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, it can go wild. <laughs> I'll just keep going now. Yeah. Nice. Well, cool. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I got here late. I, I mean, I literally just got here like half an hour ago, got my badge. and Because I, I drove straight from home. I slept like an hour and a half. Right. So I'm kind of kind of burned, but yeah, yeah, I'm I'm tripping, man. I'm still jet lagged, and I need to eat. I need some caffeine. And yeah, yeah. Oh you yeah, guys, this is what's going on later. The, oh, the event, yeah. So I don't know where this is. Apparently, it's like ten minute drive or something. But there's cuckoos playing. Oh, cuckoo. Uh, there's a, we got a shot of it, so I'll remember. Otherwise, I'll forget. See who's, playing. Let's see who's playing. So we got Beardy Man, Cuckoo. Oh, Ken Flexers. Yeah. Wow. Very nice. Jade Wee's there. Okay. Damn. And that is tonight at 6. At Radiant Beer, Lincoln Avenue. Okay. Yeah, provided I'm feeling okay after this. And it's just, you lost. just show up, you don't need a. Yeah. Okay. I've got food there apparently too. Yeah, nice. Because I, sometimes they, in the past they've had these like, invite only special things. Yeah, nah, this is so you cool. feel like you're somebody, you know? Because <laughs> I had those when I used to go to Macworld Expo a lot in San Francisco, oh, when yeah. they shut it down. You had to be invited to like an Ingram Micro kind of special party. like. So what, right? Yes. No, I think this is rock up. Yeah. Everyone's going to kind of be there from my community. And oh, yeah, so cool. you have a, I think they're part of the California Society or something. Yeah, there is a local thing. Yeah. I mean, obviously Kent not there, but yeah. but yeah, there's uh, a few people I know who are, who do like, it's like um, uh, Ricky Tinez. He's yeah. one of those guys. I don't yeah, know if he's going to be there, there but yeah. but uh, you saw him? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. can see him, man. Yeah. Cool. Um, so there's a little group that does that, um, and they, they do YouTube chats about it sometimes. They don't have footage of it, unfortunately, but um, you have to just go to the event. But it's like an L.A. thing. Just a, okay. Uh, but, oh, it's uh, good that that's happening. Nice little yeah. Really there's a fair amount up in, in San Francisco. I, I do some of those Emon things in San Francisco with kind of a shitty part of town called the, uh, the uh, not the Tenderloin, it's the... I forgot the name of it now, but it's just kind of, it's an okay area, but the, uh, there's like human shits in the street. And, oh, what? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty bad. One was behind my car one time. I go, hey, look at that. You're not selling it. You're not selling it. But <laughs> that's how much fun it is to play there. I, I'll walk past the shit and, and carry my gear and, and risk getting mugged right. to go play at these events. Because right. there aren't many up there. Especially after the pandemic, a lot of stuff got screwed up. Anyway. Oh, well, maybe I'll see you at this later. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's nice to meet you in person. And, and, I, and I love all your sets and stuff. It's really Thanks, cool, dude. man. Appreciate you found a great job. Yeah, You're still teaching, people. too, right? No, so I'm out of education. Oh, wow. This is it now. Oh, wow, nice. Yeah, I'm working with Sins full time. Okay, cool. Yeah, works for me. No, nothing wrong with that. Things to be out of trouble. Yeah, it's, it's a good gig if you can get it. See yeah. you later, folks. So, is this YouTube or what? Yeah, it's YouTube live stream. So. Just, uh, but. Uh, right. Yeah, I, on the way here, the signal was really spotty. I'm like, oh, great. It's one of those days. But there was something outside in the badging area and some other areas where it's all choppy. Here, it's perfectly fine. Oh, you're on the Wi-Fi? Nope. Their Wi-Fi stinks. I tried it last time. Yes. I was here last year, and my 5G works really well in here. But outside, there was some kind of shit going on. I don't know what it was. But uh, so anyway, thanks again. Nice to meet you, and I'll, I'll come back later and say hi. Yeah, all right, man. Thank you. Yeah. That was fun. Sorry, I was there for a while, guys, but... Oh, harmoniums, look at that. The 
the actual uh, bellows in the back, plastic harmonium. Nice pen from Pedal Pal. All right. It's Black Panther system. Osmos with that really cool acoustic speaker there. Looks like a piano. Hey, still living my Osmos, a lot of fun. Great stuff. Um, two burning questions, though. Uh, new, new presets coming in a pack soon? Soon we'll be exaggerated, but we are, right now we are reworking the whole preset system so we, think we can open it up to install a new preset pack. Because nice, right nice. now it's not possible. Oh, it's yeah. because, because That's my other question. Uh, the uh, Egan Matrix, does it work in Max for Live or do you have to use Max? Uh, you have to use Max. There's no way to make it Max for Live? Is this a Max Pat it's file? It's just a Max patch, so we can open yeah. it always. You don't have to pay for Max. No, I know, but I mean, I'm already running Max for Live for other stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was hoping I could just dump it in no, there. No, you, you need Max, unfortunately. Okay, to run all right, that's fine. Sorry. No big We're going to replace this one as well in the future, but it's still going to take uh, some okay. time because it's so complicated to Right, right, there. okay. Okay, I was reading some stuff, and it, it wasn't a clear answer whether it would work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people say you could copy the contents from the Max patch. Dump wow. it in the Max for Live. That's possible, but a, what is it, AML or whatever it's called? Um, and but I haven't tried it. It's possible that it's, it works, but uh, yeah, yeah. No, I just I will stick with the works. So. Uh, it's not. It's not like Max would be like spyware or bloatware that would right. cram up your PC even when it's not running. It's not yeah. like that. So sure, sure. You recommend just installing it. It's just one more thing to install. And yeah. Resource hog kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, and I can't run it, I probably can't run it with Max for Live, they probably have some conflict on that. Uh, I'm not even sure, I, on, on, I mean the biggest problem is that on Windows uh, you can't share the USB MIDI ports. Unless Wait, Windows doesn't have any driver. problems, what are you talking about? Huh? I said Windows doesn't have any problems, what are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> There's nothing but problems. Well, oh, it's my, my profession, so I can't, uh, I work with IT stuff, so it's a necessary evil. Um, Okay, so I, is the Egan Matrix going to change the interface a little bit? Or? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, because it's a little daunting. Uh, I'm, uh, uh, I'm willing to try it, but it's a little daunting. So. It's, uh, it's really not intuitive and user friendly. No. I mean, I mean it's by it nerds for nerds. Get behind so. it, it's all logical yeah. and well thought out, well yeah. explained, and documented, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's just uh, way too complicated okay. normally. So we're working on improving this as well, but no it's going to take some time because the. The, the engine itself is so uh, complex. Right, right. Yeah. I just I wasn't sure about the whole preset providing thing because like like uh, Aodio makes a Sofio wind instrument, and they provide every time they do an update, they provide sample some new synth, synth sounds with the system update. Sure. So were you guys are thinking about doing that too, or? I mean, we are, there are some limitations. For example, we don't have like sample memory, so we yeah. can't come up with like sample library stuff content but on the one hand we are expanding, we're expanding on the mod, on the uh, modules that are in the synthesizer and then we also expand uh, on presets okay. as well so we're going to put up but this requires a separate uh, as i said we rework this preset uh, the whole system technically okay. when we then we put out a library that at least allows you uh, to upload, download stuff easily without right. using the Harken editor. 
Okay. Just to have like a uh, library software where you see different feature packs, right. you can uh, easily back up your, uh, your sounds, retransfer them, rename them and so on from okay. the computer to make it a little bit easier. Are they possibly going to add more engines to, to it as well? Yes. I mean, you have a lot already, but it's... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank yeah, you, Andy. I'm still loving it. So, thanks. All right. Huh. Keytron. Don't know much about Keytron. You guys know about Keytron? Made in Italy. Interesting keyboard. Got the accordion. Isomorphic style keyboard. It's over here. Oh, these guys were here last year. Chinese MIDI wind synths. And now they have a synthesizer for iPad. Very interesting. There's an array of touch, which is cool. I still use my. Uh, Send some morph once in a while, but uh, you guys can buy them anyway because they, they can't get the chips anymore. Yuki. 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 Studio with a nice uh, donkey in the front for some reason. Electron. Proper Mellotron there. It's the same one they had last year. People were playing at high volume. Uh, what else we got? Um, Joe, musical instruments. Walkabout carriers. There you go. How smart they took the, uh, the band frame and made a stand out of it. Good idea. I was going to make a, a, a snorri cam with one of those. So the camera points at your face. Yeah, yeah, nice. Well, how much is the basic setup? Seven hundred with a battery system, so it's like an inverter, or is it? It's really a lithium battery. Okay. But it's got to have an inverter to power a laptop, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. That's pretty cool. So, have people started using these anywhere yet? So not on stage anywhere. Okay. I'm surprised no one thought of it sooner. No one thought of it sooner. It's kind of yeah, weird, right? Because it makes why sense. The first time I ever saw one of these in person was a Yamaha last year upstairs. Okay. I've never seen one in person. Because oh, yeah, yeah. they're just for band instruments, right? Yeah. At stores around me don't sell them. So I didn't even know where to buy one. I guess, you know, maybe Amazon would have one. But but I wasn't sure what a good one costs. And so it's cool to see that. Do you sell just the, uh, without the battery, just the shell and stuff? How much would just the plane strip down? How much? Three three ninety five. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah. How much is the frame normally? Just a the frames are like two three hundred bucks normally. Is that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. Thanks. Nice. Got a keyboard on there too. Walk about carriers. <laughs> Ask for by name. That's pretty cool, actually. Bluefish. And the door. You guys can hear this, it's loud as fuck over here. Hey, look at 
Omnicord. Gotta love the old school Omnicord. These guys are playing, you can barely hear them with so much noise here. Got some cool retro wood key. I like that with the wooden keys, that's pretty cool. Wow. Didn't have a booth last year. There's only one place you could play a 20, K2700. And they only had one that kept going on stage for demos. You couldn't even play the goddamn thing. Tisha Pro. I always love that brand. F Note. Yeah, F it. <laughs> Ah, PWM, look at that. No that sound anywhere. Very aggressive. Ah, uh, the recorder. I actually brought mine on the trip. I'm gonna probably play with it at night. Get back into using it. It's really fun. Wind controller. Bluetooth. You, know, you guys have any new stuff for the app at all, or is it pretty much the same app? I haven't updated mine, so. The recorder, have you guys updated the recorder? Yeah, the recorder is uh, I have one, I just want to, yeah. you, do you add features to it? Is there anything new? Ah, uh, not at all. We, we are working to a new version of the recorder, but uh, it's not just reading. Okay. We are working for a new model that uh, is uh, June. Right. Uh, let me say, June different. Oh, sorry, you're, you're a sound machines, right? Or are you no, it's the same. We are oh, the, the same, same company. Oh, the same company? Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Nice. Machine, so only one brand. Hey, when are you going to make that breathalyzer module? <laughs> Remember the breathalyzer module you guys had a couple years ago at Superboot? Ah, the ever touch. No, the breathalyzer, alcohol. Ah, yeah. You guys got to make that. Oh, was, uh, we have a show to the Yes. Yeah, yeah. Only for the yeah, it was fun though. You should release it. I know several people who would buy it immediately. Yeah. Me, me included. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I remember to that. Oh, it was great. This is the break behind the Because I, I have the, uh, I love the light strip and I have the, yeah. uh, the neural one. Yes. But uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's the neural one's kind of hard to get my head around it, literally. I mean, it's just. Because it's, it's bizarre, yeah. yeah. But it's kind of fun. No, they got the, the, the new version probably we are working to introduce sound inside the... Sorry, one second. <coughs> you don't want to call for the mic, so... Ah, okay. So, the, we want to do the sound inside the, the recorder, so it's more fast. Right? Yeah. Uh, and we are working to uh, some other feature, but uh, it's uh, not... Now is a. Uh, we have to wait some months before yeah. to explain. And, That's uh, fine. We have tested. No, I mean, I, I, I brought mine with me to play with when the show's over at night because yeah. I haven't used mine for a while. And I do like it. I just need to. I forgot how to use some of the features. So. Um, but it's really cool with an iPad and just sit no, there. We and are uh, working to some, enough, some more sound inside the application. Oh, nice. Yeah, okay. Some other sound. Because I mainly just Bluetooth it to some other app like Animog or something like that, and go crazy with synth sounds. It's a blast. Yeah. I didn't even get through all the tutorial stuff. One of these days I'll, I'll read it just to see what they what's in there, but I just, it's like, oh, Bluetooth MIDI controller? Yeah. Bypass the app and go right to the... <laughs> but it's cool for learning how to play it, because my fingering stinks. I need to learn the fingering better. So, um, but yeah, um, Definitely got to get that breathalyzer module. Breathalyzer module, got to have that. Now, we have some uh, new Hero Touch model that we showed to the Super Mode, but we are uh, some delay for the production. So, uh, I don't know, probably in, uh, we need an 
Does, does the arc one uh, mostly this, this one here? Does this mostly kind of emulate a Bukla Thunder yeah, thing, yeah, yeah. or is it more than that? Yeah, yeah. It's a it's a it's a controller. It's an old touch. It's similar to our S1 or LP1. And for this, yes, we have developed a new firmware, and there is also a web application to create the patterns, so you can uh, configure everything. And uh, for more features, we have to wait to that because I don't know very well. Also. Okay. Also, oh, these two go together. You need those two. Yeah, yeah. And you can, uh, this is similar to having uh, LS1 and you can uh, create all the channel. Right. You create notes. You can play as a sequencer. Oh. Nice. It's a similar uh, to Bukla, but I want a it lot does, of new does features, more, yeah, more yeah. And uh, one uh, uh, critical point was the display that is really small to configure everything was not easy. And so we have developed the uh, web uh, software software application. Now it's more easy. Too. Yeah, cool. Uh, on the light strip. Um, have you thought about, there's a company out there that has a light strip kind of thingy that also has pressure. Have you guys thought about adding pressure to the light strip? Uh, I think about the to ask only this. That's pressure there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But the light strip is just a yeah, yeah. touch. Okay. Okay. I like it. It's fun. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, Vienna Symphonic. You didn't, didn't get the fact that I was serious about the breathalyzer module. Oh well, it would be a lot of fun. All you drinkers out there would have a good time with it. Oh, tone. Note. Oh, I love this entropy and suns thing. So if you guys like the hypno, Sleepy Circuits hypno, this is like uber, uber hypno with all kinds of extra features. I love this thing. It is, it is more money though, but it's pretty cool. Got a, got a touch air. Yeah, it was a lot of work. Is that a touch screen on that one? Uh, there's a touch screen on that. It is a touch screen. Yeah. What's the what's the street price on it? Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna retail for twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. Okay. Yeah. Nice. I remember the demo last year. It was very nice. Oh, right. On. Yeah, Thank yeah. you. All the bulk is hooked up to analog devices. This is noise. Got some audio. More for. Sorry, I cut off the sign there. You guys didn't even see it. I'm doing carpet again. <laughs> I think I zoomed in too much. No, that's out. Mod that modular again. Get a better look at the KO in a video game cabinet. You guys have seen that before. Hey Ken, how's it going? Oh, how you doing, man? Right. Hey, I heard you're playing tonight. Yes. I what, what are you playing? Uh, where? Yeah. Uh, what? What? I, I didn't see that. Oh, I need. I need one of those actually. Yeah. Uh, music. That's <laughs> loose, loosely. Modular or hydrosynth loosely or? Loosely organized sound. Uh, it'll be an S2400, a, a small modular rig, okay. and a black box and a blue box. Okay. Yeah. Is it all green? No. Ah, oh, come no, on, man. None of it's green, actually. Oh. Uh, well, I'm sure I will be in the face by the time <laughs> I'm done. I'll also be emceeing the event. Oh, really? So, yeah. yeah so, yeah. what? What? And there's a 
lots of prize giveaways and stuff too. Is it just one stage and people go? Yeah, don't... so the way it's going to be set up is there's going to be basically like three tables and people are going to be cycling through. Okay. So it's like, like all the sets are going to be really short. So it's like 15 minute sets each. Okay. And it's just like the warmer, other person's like set up and ready to go. They perform okay. and the other person is getting set up. So it's going to cycle through really Is it mostly quick. so that local collective? Yes. Uh, so Ricky so Tinez is going to be there? Or is he? That? Is Ricky Tinez going to be there? Uh, I think he might be. Yeah, uh, okay. I know. Uh, I know Tarashi is going to be there. Okay. Yeah, she's going to be there. Uh, you know, Corey's playing. Oh, really? Uh, okay. Corey's playing. I'm playing. Dominic from uh, ASM. Oh, nice. He's going to be playing. Yeah. Uh, I go on right after Kuku. Um, so he's going to be playing. So this is an order. Pretty yeah, much. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, exactly. okay, cool. That's the sentence right there. Starts at. Six, I think. This ends at six, right? Uh, this, 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 this ends at six, and yeah, it, and like we're going straight from here to that. Okay. So, how, how far is it? Is it walkable? I I don't know. I've never been there, but from what I hear, it's very close. Okay. So if it's not walkable, it's like a really short Uber. Because I already walked like three blocks from the yeah, damn parking lot. It's, so. it's a really short <laughs> Uber. From what I understand, it's very, very close. Okay. All right. So, is it, have you been there before? Is it a nice place? I have not been to that one. So okay. I've been to the event, just not at that venue. Okay. And the is amazing. Yeah. Like, what did they have it last year? Uh, last year, I don't remember the name of it, but man, let me tell you, like the whole vibe of it is so much fun. Because I didn't even hear about it last year. I, I missed huh? it. I missed it all together. Yeah, so. yeah, it was done last year too. And uh, it was so much fun, man. Like, cool. like a, a fairly packed house with like a, like everybody having fun and lots of different music styles right. and like lots of modular and synthesizers and yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. So. Excellent. I'm really looking forward. And like I said. There's a ton of prizes. Really? Right okay. Do they start at six sharp, or do you have, can you be late? I think I think it's gonna probably start at six sharp, but like my set is until like nine o'clock. Okay. Like yeah, I, I think Dominic goes on at like eight. Um, so yeah. Wow. Pretty cool. So cuckoo. So if I got there later, I'd still see cuckoo. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you know what he's doing? Huh? You know what he's bringing? Who? Cuckoo. Uh, I'm not sure. No. Uh, last, year he, last year he did, uh, he had two OPCs. Yeah. Yeah, I bought, I have two. I'll come with a USB C. Yeah, I'm going to be, but, like, when I traveled, I, I, borrowed, I borrowed Corey's S2400, so I didn't even fly with that. But all oh, nice. All I packed was a small modular rig like this, yeah. and black box and blue box, and I'm good to go. And an nice. SD card, and that's that, and some cables. That's it. So, so, what are your key modules when you travel? Uh, my bat performer is like the number one module in it. That's the effects one, right? Yeah. yeah. And then I also have a, a audio damage uh, compressor okay. uh, for like some added grit and compression. I actually have two armors, um, and then I have a little sequencer and a logic module in there. Nice. Um, but I'm actually trying to take the sequencer out for this show. I just keep it uh, two Mombat performers and a compressor. Okay. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's going to be like... Does he have anything new this year? I haven't seen him yet. Is he, huh? Does he have anything new this year? Is it new? You new have modules? to ask him that. Okay, I will. I'll go see. You have to ask him that, man. Yeah. Well, I actually talked to him about a... I brought up something to him last year. He goes, that's a good idea. We should make that. And he, he emailed me for a while, then we lost contact. So I got to go talk to him. See if he's working on that special thing. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta talk to him about. Oh no, he's cool. He's I, makes sure, good stuff. I'm not sure exactly what he has planned. My, my, all my stuff's full. I have no room for more modules. So you gotta. More cases, man. I already have about. What do I have? Twenty-five hundred HP. It's not enough. My wallet says otherwise. What, what is, <laughs> what, no secret. Yeah. It's never enough. No, I know, I get it, but it, and I buy it all used. It still adds up. You know, it's just. I just, I just bought another, another case, and uh, at the beginning of next month, I'm going to be buying another case. Yeah. So I'm building a whole other like vertical stack. So. So I, I do some live stuff in San Francisco, so I have to make it somewhat portable. Well, I have, I so have, I, I have two portable cases. Yeah. And then I've got my big case. And then I have my drum case, which I just got rid of to put up this new stack because my drum case was just kind of like, that was the first rack I ever got. So it was kind of falling apart. I so thought about I the big case thing, but it's too permanent and I'm not always at home. So I need mobile stuff so I can play it anywhere. 
but I, I get the appeal. So are you streaming? Yeah, say hi to the chat. Oh, you're streaming now? Yeah, yeah. Oh. I forgot, sorry. No, it's, you didn't say anything bad. Say hi, chatties. Yes. Hello. This is not Ken's, this is my own little chat. Thing. But I, uh, the, uh, I'm going to do a walk around on Saturday like we did last year with Ken's stream. So have you, what was the coolest thing you've seen so far? I've only been it for about an hour. Um, but, uh, I mean, I love that. Where the hell is it? Uh, the Sleepy Circuits thing that makes, it's the... Oh, they got a new thing here? Uh, Entropy and Sons. It's like Sleepy Circuits, but way better. Yeah. The hip, like the Hypno? Yeah. So it's visual, not synth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it's, it's fucking amazing. Oh, I need to check that out. Then, it's, but it's $1,200. The Hypno's only like 600 so... Um, I think the next thing that I'm looking to buy is probably like a Fumana or something. Like, I, I want to get a nice spectral bank. Yeah. I'm either going to get a Fumana, a Mark filter, or the tip top uh, spectral processor. Nice. Do you have any of the, uh, the new Make Noise stuff? Uh, no. no. I, I haven't bought a Make Noise module in a while. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's some new stuff that's pretty cool. I mean, my last one I bought I, was I Morphogene. A, I have a Morphogene. So, right? Yeah. Like, I'm actually selling them. Oh, really? Yeah. If anybody wants to buy some modules, oh, I got a lot go. of gear to sell. You guys hear that? I got a 208C to sell. I got, I got a whole bunch of gear to sell. Now it's an auction. Go, Man, go. Hell, sell, sell, sell. <laughs> um, no, nah, that's the coolest thing I saw right now. I mean, obviously, I love my Osmos. So I'm not, there's nothing new there. And, and I love, uh, it's kind of weird. Jamstick is here. It should be over in the guitar area. But. Go check out that uh, the, the cord. So, oh yeah, where is that? Uh, you stay down at this main hall. Yeah. Walk all the way down way there. Way down there. Okay. It's in its own like glass okay. case. So like media, you got to go and kind of schedule a time. Nice. Or else you can get lucky and like kind of get some. Are you going to the Buka thing Saturday? Probably not. Yeah. I might be going to the after party. Okay. So, but. Oh, I is that know. a special invite only thing? I don't know. I just go where the the flow takes me. Like, I mean, you heard about it, so it must be, you know. <laughs> I, just end, I just end up at places. Yeah, and yeah. I hope that I don't miss a flight. That's well, I, of, I've done that a few times at SIGGRAPH, the big graphics expo. You just kind of tag along with people, and suddenly you're in some cool place that you weren't supposed to be. I always just blame Daniel. Like, if, yeah. I, if, if something bad happens, it's because Daniel drove me out and made me go out. Yeah, hey, yeah. So, it's uh, plausible deniability. Yeah, I just don't <laughs> take any responsibility for my own actions. I mean, That's you're here. You're supposed to have fun, too. right? I mean, it is a trade show, but I always see it as a fun thing. So. Well, yeah. I mean, all the previous years before ASM, it was like I was always going as press. So yeah. it was like I wasn't beholden to anyone yeah. but myself. And now it's like, well, I kind of have to show up and maybe be safe. Right. You, I, you, speaking of Bukla, you were doing some Bukla patch kind of stuff a while back. Yeah. It sounded really cool. Do you have Bukla stuff? Well, I'm selling it. Like, I'm selling it to OHC. Oh, sorry, I missed that part. Okay, yeah. Yeah. If you will buy it, buy it. Uh, that's the. It's, it's like. It's like your easel. Easel like, without the it's keyboard. Like the modern easel without the keyboard. Right. It's got USB. Still have the cards. Huh? Cards for it. Yeah. Okay. Because I have the Pico System Three, which kind of copied that with the cards. Yeah. And it's pretty wild. It's a very, it's very cool. It sounds cool, but it's not something that I need. Like my modular does all that times ten. Yeah. Well, and there's some amazing, I mean, you've seen the Easel app from Arturia. Yeah. And uh, do you use iOS apps much? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your brand boast? Yeah. Troub is it Troublemaker? One of those. It's an, it's a, it's an Easel. Yeah. And it's amazing. And they have... Uh, no, Ripple Maker. It's called Ripple Maker. There's, a, there's another one, too, that's really similar to it. It, it kind of doesn't look like it, but it basically is it. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I love it. Because the easel is just too much money, I can't. Yeah, just the other day. I can't I justify it. Uh, what is it called? Uh, patterning two. Okay. That is really cool. I was using that with the S twenty four hundred to sequence it and nice. like do uh, uh, like circadian rhythms, right. and doing all that kind of goofiness. Have you ever used that weird Google module that's super rare that everyone always talks about? I always forget the damn name of it. It has a funny name. Well, there's a few. Uh, they had I'm drawing a blank on it, but it has like a, it's almost like a guy's name, or it's an acronym or something. I'm not sure. 
it's like this coveted thing and oh you gotta have this one thing and it's like super expensive no I'm one not, has uh, it i'm not really a snob when it comes to a lot of that stuff yeah most of those circuits have already been recreated I, got, I guess i would be if i had the money i just don't know. <laughs> i don't think i would be there either <laughs> no i'm like, just kidding the more the more experience i get the more like snake oil yeah you know like, it's true and like you said, you can do so many things with other things. You don't have to have that thing. As long as it's inspiring to me, I'm happy. Like, it's, like to me, more often than not, it's about, like, is the user interface right. really fun? And does it sound good? And if, it, if those two come together, then I'm happy. I can care less about the rest. Right. But, like, yeah. one, day, I, one day I was messing around with the, the Rossum Panharmonium and some other shit, just kind of fucking around. And the and suddenly I was doing... Um, the, um, uh, damn it, what is that thing called? The rising tone that's circular. Howard. How's it going, man? Okay, heck yeah. You know uh, Howard Scar, right? Oh, yeah. On the chat, sent out it. Oh, right. Yeah. We've met, we met hey, online. How you doing, man? Yeah. yeah. How you doing? Doing okay, thank yeah. you. Are you at the Yuhi booth? Yeah. yeah. We've got the Zebra stuff going on over there, right? Yeah, the new Zebra on Say, say hi to some chatties on yeah, streaming. streaming. Yeah. <laughs> I want to stop by and check, check it out. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited about where Zebra goes next. Yes. Very, very good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to stop over and check it out. Yeah, in the big event of the year. Yeah, I'll let you guys chat. It's nice to meet you yeah, in person, yeah, man. Yeah, and uh, I'll see you around. And hey, good yeah. luck on your set. I'm going to go check it out All for right. sure. See you guys Thanks. Bye, bye. <laughs> I don't want to linger in place too long. One thing. You guys get bored. So. Nice to see Howard Scar in person. Uh, he said something about Korg being way the hell down here. Let's see if I can find that real quick. Remember what I said about the crowd? Guess who's here? To the hat. He's in the hat. There he is. He shows up and the crowd forms. So just follow the crowd. This time he's not playing. So, smaller crowd. Noisy down here, it's almost like the guitar area. These guys are doing some little jam here on their mobile rigs. Oh, there's the Leslie spinning. B12. Make music anytime, anywhere, and it will sound like Casio music. <laughs> Dexabelle. I think I think Stevie Wonder was playing one of these last time. Is Dexabelle or one of these things? 
Fender Rhodes as well. I still want to get that funky vocal Casio thing. We're doing weird vocal speech processing stuff. Unfortunately, it's tied to an app, so when the app dies, it probably won't work anymore. But it is a funny idea. Okay, so. Now I have my official card, so I know about the thing tonight. Get to see Cuckoo, Ken Flux, and a bunch of other folks play. It'll be kind of fun. Oh, I know it's early, it's not the super pub, but there's Buffet Cramp on it. Look at that. You gotta love the Buffet Cramp on it. Everybody bow down for Buffet Cramp on it. I can't see the chat, it's so small, but hopefully uh, David Sir checks here. He loves Buffet Crampon. <laughs> uh, it's a beautiful loop. Uh, let's see. They do have some beautiful brass instruments. Look at that French horn. Buffet Crampon style. Sports toward the front. So, Ford USA, all kinds of stuff in here. Let's see if the stream holds up. Ford is in the middle of a Dead spot for 5G. Great placing of the court booth. I'm gonna have to basically sometime tomorrow walk around, do some actual videos. I knew this would happen at some of the show. I'll just record a bunch of uh, static videos, and upload them later. But I saw the, uh, the new micro Korg is in there. Um, some other things are in there that uh, looked interesting. So I will get some videos of those real quick. I don't have any stuff to patch in, really. At least not, I don't have like a, I have an audio interface. That's a one-way thing. It doesn't have a headphone jack on it. So I couldn't even listen to what I'm playing if I recorded the audio to stream. Uh, I wasn't planning on doing that. So um, I'll just have to um, record some videos and see what happens. So I'm just gonna stay on this side of the room Go down a little bit more. So this year's like this blue carpet. Last year was just kind of dirty, darker carpet. So enjoy your carpet. Contrast to the flowery stuff outside. Dirty old light blue and darker blue carpet. So IK Multimedia is here. There's a fun booth here for you guys. All the British folks here would like this. Over the top cute booth here. Um, so you got straps, there's a whole wall of straps. example of uh, weird clashing fonts. This is the Martin. This is where you can get a face full. 
This is uh, everyone's favorite from last time. This is the smaller version of the Venus uh, guitars. There you go. Where's David Surchek? Is he here? <laughs> Oh, little harps. Look at that. That's cool. Little portable harps in the case and everything. Harp E. It's even a little strap so you can carry that one around and strap it on. You guys should get uh, Emily Harpus to do some demos for you. You know Emily oh, Harpus? Of course, yeah. We've yeah. been trying to get her. She has the pedals, the whole works, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. She's actually a really wonderful resource. Yeah, yeah. Harpus, so. what, uh, what are the differences? Just color and wood? Or is so it. These guys, uh, I don't work for her. These guys. So, what the purpose of our company is to make harps affordable and accessible yeah. to everyone. Yeah. So, we it's the same instrument, but we offer three different packages. So, for okay. the customer, um, kind of like comfortability in terms of the harp. So our lowest price packet is a wide package. Okay. Um, it runs you about 800 and you can build it, customize it, do whatever you want with it. Okay. So it's a, it's a wonderful opportunity for you to get to know your instrument better. Are the historically different tunings really or is it? Um, well, most lever harps, they're, it's pretty much up to you how you tune it. Right. People usually tune lever harps on E flat major or C okay. minor. You know, that's how I keep mine, you know, that's how we keep ours, but you're more than welcome to change the tuning. It's just, as lever harpists, we realize that E flat, e flat major is the best key for going to the most keys possible right. without having to retune. By I'm making it light to... enough to carry like that and stuff, does it, does it go out of tune easier? Well, does it go out of tune easier because the frame no, is less no, rigid? Or is it... Like, I have a pedal harp and, you know, I have to tune them about the same frequency. Okay. So it, it's about, yeah, the, yeah, you know, and it, the string tension is also about the same yeah. tension as a lever harp. Are you a harpist yourself? No, 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 but it's cool. I saw this and the case, it reminded me of my uh, ATV A-frame. It's a frame drum that gets in a little case like that. Uh, kind of reminded me yeah. of that whole, I love portable gear, so. Nice, yeah. Yeah, it's cool. This is super portable. Like, it, yeah. it fits in a plane, which is unheard of for a harp. <laughs> how, how much, 800, you said? Um, for the DIY pack, yeah, it's about 800. Okay. Yeah, if you want to get the uncoated, so it's and full flexibility. Pick up built in, or you have to add that? No, built in. It's all built in, nice. Yeah. So, like, you actually put the pickup in, it's housing unit, and everything when you do the DIY package. That's if cool. If you buy the string and go, it already comes with it inside. Yeah. And you guys are doing looper demos and stuff here? Yeah, we're working on all yeah. sorts of crazy stuff. We have nice. an artist coming Saturday and Sunday at right. 3 to 3.30. He does, he's like one of, like, the top harpists of really? the world. And He's gonna do some crazy stuff. Does he do stuff for movies and things like that, or? He does everything. Yeah. I don't even know. Like he travels around the world, plays harp, like he's on TV and stuff. So I bet he's a movie. It's kind of sad because I was at a mall. Uh, I'm in the Bay Area, and there's a, okay. a, a a fancy mall there, and the guy plays a harper on the holidays uh -huh. in a little gazebo inside. Oh, okay. And people are just kind of like, like oh. ignoring it. He's just playing to nobody, you know? Oh. Yeah, it's kind of sad because it sounded nice. He needed this. Out. He needed this whole yeah. setup with the effects and yeah, all the kids would come out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you can be, you know, as angelic or as demonic as you yeah. want to be. You have a distortion and everything. And, and you could even thing. set up a pitch to MIDI thing and actually drive yeah. synths and stuff. So. Oh, yeah. We yeah. have some guys do that yeah. that are very excited. There's some people that have attached MIDI controllers on the harp. Totally. So people join them together. Like, there's some pretty crazy stuff yeah, yeah. that we've been doing. Oh, um, check it out. Harp E. It's cool. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. That was cool. Santa Cruz guitar. Cremona. That sounds like a uh, artificial uh, cream for your coffee. Cremona. This is the area with the woods. You guys remember the woods? It's 
Smells nice. That's a wood. Oh, here's the. Sorry, this is the one I was thinking of. This is the bigger version of the, the penis base. You guys liked so much last time. It's a big Johnson base, which is a hilarious name because it does look like a big Johnson. I don't know if that was intentional. His name might be Johnson. But as you guys know, in the US, Johnson is slang for penis. So the circle is complete. <laughs> Straps, 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 ukuleles. So I don't know if the signal sucks inside this area, but I'll start going through some of the guitar noise there. You got, oh, the guy bought wood. See, he's got wood. Look at that. That's cool. The tiki guitar. My brother would love that. He's all into tiki culture stuff. So let's see how noisy it gets down here if the signal holds. If not, I'll have to back out and do something else. There's a nice uh, pan pan hang drum case, I recognize that. I have a cheaper one for mine. Push the music works. Names, lurks. Kozu guitars. New instrument. Hanago. Ah, oh, it's a little zipper. Nice. Well, right about there, the signal broke up. I was trying to show you guys Donner, the guys that make those little MIDI controllers and stuff. There's Donner down there. As soon as I walk down there, there's just too much metal in this building. Although, it doesn't seem to work. But uh, something, there's a lot of interference. This is cool, shop bot. Yeah, I got, this is cool, shop bot. Yeah, I got residual uh, signal problems there. So now I came further out toward the front. The shop bot is pretty cool, I like this. Sorry? Are you gonna podcast? I am. You might want to check out our new product. Oh yeah? Uh, it's an acoustic guitar stand. It's definitely like it. Okay. Right here. Cool. We'll do a demo for you. Thanks. God wants me to uh, cover his guitar stand in a podcast. Hold on to your hats, guys. Oh, I see. It's built into the bottom. That's kind of cool, actually. You just put it down anywhere. How much? 25? Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Customize it on our website. Yeah. You couldn't do that. Disney has a say in this place. You couldn't do that. They tried to have animation stuff here and they said you can't post that. <laughs> Yeah, thanks, sir. All right, the guy was right. That was kind of interesting. If you're an acoustic guitar guy. All right, well, that kind of sucks. I'm back to the penis bases over here. Um, 
relegated to this half of the room or this quarter of the room. Did you lose the signal too much? Oh, that's beautiful pearl wood. Look at that. There you go. There's a pedal steel. A little jam session. There's a nice dobro there. wooden cabinet. Zenith guitar from Thailand. It's Uncle Sam. are a little too tinny for me. A lot of high frequencies. Back at the harps. In case I miss one, what, what's the guy you said, hey, what's the name who did the crazy harp stuff? What's his name? Uh, oh, Alexander Boldashev. Alexander? Alexander Boldashev. So, on our Instagram, we're Oh, it's on there. Your, okay, cool. Yeah, we have a little flyer nice. for announcing. I'll oh, check it out. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. All right. Back to the humidifier. too far in, I lose my signal. I have to look at guitar straps again. There's a Celestion bus again. Like Hayes got here, since the signal shouldn't cut off here. Oh, this is fun. 
little tank drums. I have something like this. These are kind of a hand pan hang drum sound and a little metallic portable thing. Little tongue drums. This Kemper. Wish I would do more viral stuff. Well, that was great. All I did was walk into Kemper and it got cut off. It's, uh, need a heat map for this place so I know where I can walk. Kind of ridiculous. We're shooting lots of local videos tomorrow. So it was good that I came here, spent a chunk of the day figuring that out so I don't waste much time tomorrow with the live streams. Just live stream in the edge. That's about all I can do. Music is fair. STG had a booth here, but I don't know where he has it. I didn't see it yet. Just to walk around it. Strymon. I'm gonna waste it, man. Waste your shit. that I miss him. I know he has a small booth here. Their turn. And protection. Crazy on the cast here. Oh, it's Michael Whalen. Look at that. Everyone knows Michael Whalen. playing six, but it's quite good at piano as well. Oh, there's a jam over here. What's going on? Some guitar 
Face, he has keychar face. Any questions? Oh, Suzuki is here. The new Omnicore. I didn't know that. The new Omnicore. Make your own kind of music. like an OM200 with new sounds or is it? Yeah, new sounds? Yeah. Oh, new sounds. MIDI, right? Uh, MIDI. Yeah, MIDI. MIDI. MIDI here. Yeah. You can use hold, strum, uh, drum, okay. and bass nice. together. But you can also mute them out and just do oh, yeah. a melody strum like the OM200? Uh, yes. Yeah. Actually, so I, I have an OM200? Uh, oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. What's the um, street price? Eight hundred. Eight hundred US dollar. Eight hundred. Eight hundred US dollar. Okay. All right. This is the map price. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Thanks for the demo. Wow. Eight hundred bucks. Woo. And here's Dina. I knew I'd find the booth eventually. Face Odyssey, very nice. I'm Andrew. Andrew, Adam. Otherwise known as Art Quadra. Art Quadra, I love that. The whole art game. You guys got Anthony here tomorrow? Yes. You could win a 2600 uh, mini. Fantastic. Wow. Cool. See you tomorrow. Thank you. So Marinelli's doing a demo tomorrow at 2, Saturday at 12. I'll have to catch it tomorrow because there's a Google thing going on. Hello. How you doing? I haven't seen you for a while. Yeah, yeah. All right. How's it going? Thanks for coming back. Yeah, definitely. I couldn't miss it. Um, so he, uh, you see, what's he going to demo on? 
2600 or is it? Yeah, but we're going to have a full size at this. Lots okay. Of both, not just that. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, we've got a few good ones. Yeah. You're going to come by? Definitely. Say hi to the chatties. Yeah. <laughs> you want to enter for one of those? Uh, yeah, how do you do that? Do you have a card? I don't have a card. I'm a, I'm a loser. I don't have a business card. Just fill that out. Thank you. Sit down. I didn't see uh, uh, Michelle is still unwell. Is she able to come? She's or not, she? Yeah, she's not feeling well. I'm yeah. so. oh, sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm, I'm part of my. Tell, tell her we're thinking about her. So. I feel. It's, it's, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gl very glad you made it. So. I feel. T I feel terrible. Actually. Yeah. The time is terrible. Yeah. Wow. No, it's, I'll just go ahead. Listen. Thank you. Uh, hard to write with one hand and the paper moving around. My email, damn it. Definitely better to have a business card than having to fill this out. Is there a little box you put it in, or is a? Oh. Oh no, I did already. Okay. Thanks. Oh, thank you. Well, it's getting full. Yeah. Thanks. I know, I do. I love the feel. So things are going well, otherwise. Things are pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Nice. We'll be bringing it to Boston at the end of next month. Yeah. Okay. And, and it's going to be an opening of a lot of new projects. That right. Yeah. Did, was Kent able to send you that stuff he had? That the spare parts and stuff. Kent Spong. He's supposed to be. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I know he talked about it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it's kind of nice. It was a yeah, rare. I have to wait until um, February first because of this. So right. 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 Cool. Yeah, we have a lot of donations coming in, so I'd like to start a second um, Artists for All branch. Oh, cool. Because I live near Woodstock, New York, and there's a lot of music studios yeah. there. You know, people have friends with, like, I don't know if it's not Jerry Murata, but he's got a studio there, and uh, we've been talking about maybe. Nice. Yeah, and so your husband's able to come this time? Yes, and I don't know where he is. He's, he's having there. fun. <laughs> he's a chamber, so he's having fun. Oh, is he? Oh, cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's having nice. fun. He's having fun. Oh, is he? Oh, cool. Nice. Well, if you even walk halfway over there, it's just a wall of noise. So he's lost in that noise over there. <laughs> is he, uh, what kind of drumming does he do? Like jazz? Oh, there's Stevie Wonder's kids. Oh, I saw him earlier. Stevie Wonder's over there, yeah. You just follow the crowd and then, oh, there's Stevie. <laughs> I got someone, I have, I have Stevie watches for me. So oh, really? Yeah, nice. Has, does it come by here and do a little thing? He hasn't yet. Um, no? I hope so. That would nice. Be really cool. I think that would be amazing. I'll just look for the crowd. I saw him over there, um, some other booth, but. How long ago? Uh, 20 minutes ago, a half hour ago. Oh, really? Then he might come back here. Though. Yeah. He did see you here, though? He saw them? Yeah, we did. Because his people here. saw, yeah. 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 I'm friends with one of his people. So oh, nice. That, yeah. yeah, he had a lot of handlers. There's always a little wall around him, so. <laughs> The person I'm friends with is, is really his keyboard manager. Oh, okay. He's not one of those secret service guys. Oh, nice. Right. Yeah, okay. Well, cool. That's what I got. You know, they got that's, that's appropriate. Okay. 
Well, cool. I'll definitely be back around 12 tomorrow because I'm going to that Buco thing on Saturday. I'll mix this Saturday demo. Oh, great. So I'll come to the 12 one. Record it. Definitely will. Thanks. Good to see you. Okay. okay. See Bye. You. Okay. See ya. I'll come by and say hi to your husband later. Huh? Yes, yeah. do, I want to hear about his drumming. Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. Does he have a band? He's got like four bands. Oh, wow. Yeah. Nice. Thanks. See ya. Uh, uh, talk to the All right, got my Dina hug. So I didn't know her husband's a drummer. He's out looking for drums. Be doing the M again. I'm just sitting in the same territory since I can't go anywhere else live and get cut off. So sorry, it's the same stuff, guys. Hold on here. Didn't see this. Yeah. Also, me do visual performing. Hmm. All right. What else? What did I not see? Yet? I can't find Super Tiger. I know he has a booth I saw on the, on the website. But do you know where Super Tie Guy is? I haven't seen his booth. I saw him walking by. He has a booth though, right? I thought. I do, oh yeah, he does. It's down that way. Way down there. Okay, cool. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, he's down the corner down here. That's why. I didn't see that yet. Okay, here we go. Four on this. Group synthesis. Oh, that's right. He's new Sonics. If you haven't seen Amos Gaines in a while, that's Amos Gaines here on New Sonics. Love your videos. Oh, thank you. They're always very. I couldn't talk to him at all. I'll have to go back later and say hi. I'll give him more praise for his great uh, Radiophonic One module thingy. All right. Well, so that was at the end of the room over there, and I was still getting my signal cut off. This is not good. Good. Jack Trip. Oh, music collaboration. Pocket piano.
Oh, look at that. The whole thing folds up in case. He has a, a fun channel doing all kinds of Casio. He's a huge Casio fan. And he collects all kinds of Casios and other keyboards. And uh, he's a real good player. He's got a little pedal down there. Pretty cool. What's the street price? What? Street price? Of the Sorry? Or price? The thirteen hundred. Thirteen hundred. Thirteen hundred? Okay. That includes the pedal or is that separate? Everything together. It's oh really? Box, yeah. Nice. And it's uh, just a, a sample based piano? Yeah, or? MIDI controller as well. Oh it is, so it has MIDI. Oh yeah. nice. Because I know a lot of them on the market that are the cheaper ones that have piano, they almost never have MIDI. So, cool. Nice. Um, can you... Is it, is it rigid enough to be on your lap, or it really has to be on a surface? Can you lock it so it's rigid? No. Okay, so it has to be on the surface. And how... Is it pretty light? Is it... Oh, wow. It's very light. Is it... Um, although it's just a... Well, it's a piano. Does it also possibly send aftertouch or whatever? MIDI aftertouch? Uh, no, this, this no. one no. This one has. Okay. I mean, as a controller. Yeah. Nice. This is brand new this year? Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Like, the version 2, yeah. We yeah. launched the version 1 like two years ago. Oh, you did? Okay. Was it here? I don't remember seeing we it. We were here. Oh, okay. All right. That's nice. And he's a great player, so that's a good demo. It's amazing. Yeah. I've, I've watched his YouTube channel for years, so. Yes, insane. Um, but uh, nice. Are they for sale now? Yep. Okay. We launched on the no, uh, December the 25th. Oh, you did? Oh, okay, cool. And can you get them just from you guys or all over the place? Or where, where do you order? We send it worldwide. Worldwide? It's like Sweetwater. Yeah, we are like, like talking to them, but they take a lot of money. So for now, just direct for yeah. you guys? There, on that UR, you have a 10% discount. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, is it, uh, does it have a... Interesting. I want to try it. 
No, that's, I'm, I'm a terrible player. I like piano, but I, I mostly play synths because I can make them work other ways. I'm a terrible player. Don't, you don't want to watch me play. <laughs> but it's, it's cool to have something portable that you can take. I like portable gear. So it has something you can take around and literally no excuse not to practice. Because that's the one thing I never did is, is get the piano fundamentals down that I wanted to. So I, I play a lot by ear and um, kind of noodle a lot, which works sometimes. But to have something like that where it sounds good, it's expressive, and it's portable, I mean, you kind of can't go wrong. So. Completely portable. Yeah. Um, how does it work as far as, are there updates, or do you have like, can you, are you going to maybe add other piano sounds to it? To make an app, yeah. There's an app? Okay. For updating it. Okay. And so what, like, like a Bosendorfer kind of sound, or a, yeah. okay, or a Steinway, okay. Fazioli? You going to get Fazioli, the Italian one? No. No? Through the MIDI, you can do whatever you want. Yeah, sure. But I mean, internally, can you, you can, like it's it's standalone right now, right? There's no app, or is it running? There's through? no app, right? No. So it's it's a brain inside. Yeah. Okay. So with, with an app, can, can you use, use an app to control it? Yeah. And that will send Update. firmware, Update. all that yeah. stuff. Okay. Nice. That's cool. Thank you. I'm a, I'm looking at that. Thanks. It was great playing. I've been watching your channel for a long time. So. Oh, thank you. You're the Casio guy. Yeah, well, <laughs> I was Casio. <laughs> yeah, not anymore? No, I, I still have some Casio. Because I remember the yard, your whole backyard was covered with Casios. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was, that was great. Now, now, I have, now I have Williams. And oh, okay. Have, yeah, because I'm helping Guitar Center. What do you think of Williams? That's Guitar Center brand. Yeah? Right. Is that all right? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Okay. All right, we're not it's great, it's great piano. Better than Simmons? Well, Simmons, Simmons is also part of the same. That's what I mean. It's the, yeah. yeah. Because I bought a Simmons kit, it was terrible. Well, no, no, the new ones are much better. Is it better? Okay. Much, much better. Cool. Thanks, man. This nice. Beach, man. Yeah. <laughs> you still have a bunch of organs, too, right? You're an no. organ guy? No, actually, the only organ that I have is the Alexa. The Yamaha Alexa. Okay. Well, those are huge. Yeah. Yeah, wow. They're huge. They're pretty, they're pretty good. For what yeah. They do. Nice. Thanks. Good to see you. Yeah, you Thank too. You. Yeah. <laughs> Thank I'll you, man. See you, man. Let's do a quick demo. Uh, of, uh, I'm not with them. Oh, you're not? Oh, sorry. put them in they just figure it out doesn't matter what order you put them in they just figure it out really oh wow that's clever I, I don't either but I, I should yeah. no excuse not to play right so, so apparently they just snap together and they figure it out. Doesn't matter which one you put in what order. It's pretty clever. Rolly does that with their block stuff, but uh, it's not quite as seamless, but it does work as well. Mm -hmm. 
pretty cool, pretty cool. Well, you guys have already seen most of this stuff already and I can't go too far without cutting off. Let me go out where it's less noisy for a bit. Starting to get dark. A little bit. All right. This is the giant escalator. So, let's see. Unfortunately, YouTube app hogs the, ca the, the clock, so I can't see what time it is. And if I move the camera app, it'll kill the stream. Or at least pause it for quite a long time. So, I think I'll walk around out here a little bit. Since I won't get cut off. There's a nice uh, shot of the trees for you guys. No buskers right now. Oh, this will show me where, okay, so Yamaha is on the third floor again. So I'll have to check that out tomorrow. Probably a gi giant room like they had last time. Hilton doesn't have anything special. Marriott doesn't have anything special. So I was earlier at the North Hall Annex. And you saw that stuff. That was all like the cables and stuff. Um, oh, see, downstairs has all the other stuff. Avid. Sure, all kinds of stuff. So I'll have to go over there tomorrow. Okay. So it's all pretty much contained in these buildings. Sometimes they have stuff. I know for a couple of years, Yamaha was doing stuff in local hotels. Just over here, Sheraton, Hilton, all that stuff. But now they're stuck in the big building like everyone else is. Only other difference is the Buchla event on Saturday. Buchla and some other companies are going to be off site. So I have to get a hold of Mike Metley. So I'll give him a ride to. The Buchla event on Saturday. And then coming back here, and we're going to do several hours of the uh, Spong Super Pub comedy extravaganza, so to speak. <laughs> so it should be fun. The problem now is, as you've seen, the signal sucks ass this year, and anywhere past the edge of that building, that room. So, I won't be able to wander around as much as I did last time. I mean, you saw Buffett Crampon, I got that far, and then not long after, I got killed, almost like as if Buffett Crampon got mad and cut me off. But, uh, so, I got the fountain all lit up here. They're doing some live music here later on, looks like. I remember 2020, ma'am, I was out here sitting on the concrete uh, listening to Kenny Loggins <laughs> do some of his old classics, the Kenny Loggins classics. Actually, he played pretty well considering he's getting up there in years. So it was amusing. Not a huge fan, but uh, it was amusing for sure. I don't know what's going on in this little gazebo thingy here. Gazebo without a roof. 
stop with that. So I'll be staying with you guys. Hello, Joe. And they have other it's like they're, they're blocking entrance still. Maybe it's that late in the day they're not letting people in anymore. So once I leave, I'm out. So maybe I won't leave yet. These little booths around here where I have like little studios you can play around in. And silly little things. Here's a nice shot of the front. Let's, uh, I am zoomed out all the way. So, what else can you see? That's the moment. So if they're blocking people getting back here from there, that means if I try to go back in the main room, I'll probably get denied. It's getting late enough. I think it's almost 5.30, can you guess him? Oh, there's a guy in a kilt with a giant drum. This is going to be some kind of a uh, Scottish Highland thing. That's the security checkpoint there. Well, maybe, I guess I have a half an hour before they close the floor. So rather than walk around and get cut off constantly and have you guys all get frustrated? I will um, go ahead and end the stream here. Plenty of stuff to do tomorrow and Saturday and even Sunday for some stuff. And probably Monday I'll do a Venice Beach walk just for fun because I love the freak show over there. It's a crazy place. So I'll just finish here with a nice view of the palms all lined up. I'll go back inside for a bit and wander around without a camera, just for kicks. So, thanks everybody who tuned in and made comments, and sorry for all the glitches, but it's out of my hands this year. This, this area is pretty weird. It wasn't like this at all last year. The problem I had last year was I had a Bluetooth headset with terrible audio, so... This time I have a wired setup, which is, works really well, but now I've got a wireless problem with the, the 5G connection. And I know the Wi-Fi in this place sucks. If you remember Metley jumping on PSN last year, his Wi-Fi was jumping all over the place. And my um, 4G at the time was actually doing quite well. This is 5G, and it's uh, struggling. So I don't know what the hell's what to say. Maybe tomorrow will be better. Might be some interference from something, but... Uh, you never know, it's hard to say. So I'll stop my rambling and thanks again guys and stay tuned for tomorrow. Good fun. See you guys.